Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how you can install pretty quickly all the all the four Argo projects, namely Argo CD, Argo Events, uh, Argo Workflow, and Argo Rollouts, on a cluster that has alpha feature enabled. So in the previous video, you saw how um, we, we would create a, a Kubernetes cluster on GKE that has alpha features enabled. Uh, so that is a requirement. And now, of course, I have kubectl installed on my local um, machine here. So what I want you to see is for each one, we create a namespace. That is a requirement of, of, of installing each, each of the projects. So Argo CD is installed on Argo CD namespace. Argo events is installed on Argo events and namespace. And Argo workflow, for some reason, is installed on Argo workspace. And Argo rollouts is installed on Argo rollout one space, uh, namespace. So we create those namespaces for each one. Then we apply a cubes uh, a yaml file that argo gives us automatically on on the web so all you have to do is minus f and give it the url where it has that and this information you can in google easily on on um, you can do a google search and find it i will put them in the description below uh, just for your convenience but it, it, these are easily found so the plan is to install the work namespaces and then um, after each one we'll sleep 10 seconds so we can look at the outputs and to, to see what they, what is done. And that way we'll, get, we'll, we'll know what, what actually happened. So we'll run that script right now. Oh, good. Clear the screen and change mod 744 RQ. RQ. The name of the script could be anything, it doesn't matter. All right, so let me move this window just a little. All right, so first it's gonna install Argo CD. It's waiting five seconds for us to like take a look at that pretty word. And here it goes. First, it creates the namespace. Then it runs the kubectl apply. It, it, that applies the YAML file. And it's creating a whole bunch of custom resource definitions that we need as part of our Go CD project. It's quite a lot. You minimize the window shorter so you can see better. And it gives me all the resources I just created. Why can't I make this much better? All right. So we have 10 seconds to look at all the resources. Now we're moving on to Argo events. And Argo events is created in Argo events namespace, which, which just got created. And it creates several custom resource definitions as well. And these are the resources that got created. And then we're going to wait 10 seconds before moving on to the next one. And now we're doing the work Argo workflow. This will get installed in Argo namespace. So it's not in Argo dash workflow namespace, just Argo. And it's going to create a whole bunch of resources for us. They're called CRDs, Custom Resource Definitions. So basically, somebody else defines resources that are not standard uh, Kubernetes resources like pod and whatnot. So that is done. Now it's going to give us all the resources. Wait 10 seconds for us to take a look. The last one is going to do is Argo um, rollout. And it's waiting five seconds to start. Namespace got, got created for Argo rollouts. Almost done. It's gonna show us all the resources that got created as part of the rollout project. And that's that. So I uh, hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the next video.